Yo guys, Shadow Gamer here, and in this video it's going to be an Elder Scrolls Online Baron Rank 1 Sorcerer build, and um, I haven't actually completed this build yet, because obviously I'm only Baron Rank 1, so I haven't got any of the class uh, armor or weapon sets I'd like to have, but I'm going to jump straight into the skills that I use. Now my first part is going to be a DPS bar, and it's going to start off with the first ability, Velocious Curse, and um, what this is, is the, it's the ability where you curse an enemy says with a destructive rune dealing 4566 magic damage to the target and 2057 magic damage to all other nearby enemies now this is especially good for uh, pvp when you're fighting uh, more than one player and also pve when you're fighting a boss he's spawning in loads of ads that you need to take out um, as well as doing damage to the boss itself the second ability is going to be crystal fragments now any sorcerer who plays this class will run this class no doubt about it this is Without a doubt, the best, strongest ability on near any of the things. So I don't really have to say much about that. You would know what that is. Now the third ability is going to be Mage's Wrath. Now Mage's Wrath is essentially your executioner, and you're gonna when they're below 20% health. That's when you want to kind of spam this, and then you just get all that extra damage to just finish them off. Now fourth ability is going to be Degeneration. Degeneration is in the Mage's Guild. Um, skill tree what this does is it as well as doing damage over time it also gives you health back over time which is very like beneficial considering you're a sorcerer and you can't heal yourself especially if you're down to heal and our fifth ability is um, Daedric Minefield now what this would be is magical detonation but I do not have my assault skill tree high enough to be able to actually get that so I've got Daedric Minefield for now um, and what it does is it spawns in five mines on the ground and when it when enemies run over them it'll trigger them and do 3480 magic damage and hold them in place for 1.7 seconds the ultimate for this bar is soul shred um soul strike pardon me and uh, what this does is actually does 15,150 magic damage this is all in pve um to the enemy and it's also only costs 85 volume so it's very good very powerful and you get it very quickly now moving on to the um, bar of kind of healing yourself what this is it's first to have a movable now I would usually have Daedric Mines here but was, um, I don't have magic, magic detonation so I just use Daedric Mines on the other bar and have another ward on this bar to just be able to keep myself alive when I'm in those fights in PvP now a, mo a movable just gives you spell resistance and physical resistance so meaning that it protects you from both those things so you can't really take any damage you take less damage when actually have that on now the second ability on the bar is conjured ward now conjured ward gives you 7077 um damage shield so it means it absorbs both kinds of damage being magic magic damage and physical damage and it lasts for 20 seconds so if you don't take if you don't take 7077 damage over 20 seconds you'll still have that shield but then it'll run out and you have to recast it now when I'm in PvP, bearing in mind I do keep these wards up all the time because they will keep you alive. And the third ward I have is Healing Ward. Now this is actually the Morph version. Uh, well most of these abilities Morph, but the special thing about this Morph, and you have to go for this Morph as Healing Ward, is it actually gives you a health back when the ward itself expires, which is 6 seconds. Meaning you can go from having no health to full health in 6 seconds as long as you have your ward still up. Why I recommend casting this ward first and then you have a wards. Now, Harness Magica is um, under the light armor section, it gives you 7518 spell damage resist um, shield over 20 seconds. Now, the important thing to know is, is it's spell damage, so physical damage will still be doing attacks. So, Night Blades will still be doing loads of damage to you, but Sorcerers won't be doing any because your shield will be protecting you. Now, the fifth is. Um, Bolt escape. Now, I this bar, as you can see, is kind of for keeping yourself alive, getting out of situations, and all stuff like that. Now, bolt escape, um, I just use to get out of situations where I know I'm in a distinct disadvantage, or to get myself into more better disadvantage, maybe higher up on a hill, stuff like that. Now, the ultimate I have for this is actually suppression field, but the only reason I actually have this on is because I was just doing boss fights, doing PVE. But when I go to PVP, I'd like to have something like meteorite from the um, Mage's Guild or Dawnbreaker from the Fighters Guild, but I do not actually have them unlocked yet. But they do do so much high damage, and considering this source of build is for damage, so I'd like. But anyway, I'm going to have to wrap this video up here. 
like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you later.